Hey Rex, here are the golden swords we talked about. Golden swords, golden swords. Let's see. Ah, uh, golden swords. Let's see. Yeah, golden swords. All right. And some other items from Diaso for the fun of it. Wow. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, Vin. I really appreciate you sending me this stuff. So I think I want to share this with everyone else on YouTube. And that's what we're going to do right now. Viewer Vin Piazzo was kind enough to send me these Golden Sword pencils. I have it in HB, B, and 2B. And these are really cool. Look at their gold. Got some Japanese writing on there. These are HBs. They're called Golden Pentagonal Shaped pencils and yeah, they're supposed to be like for good luck or something I'm not sure but I'm not superstitious so I'm going to definitely want to sharpen one and I got some uh, sushi erasers erasers that are like I guess shaped like sushis and I got this pin here a Japanese style mascot pin <laughs> And some caps that have built-in sharpeners. This is really, really cool. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start with, I guess, the pencils that he really wanted me to check out first. Or wanted me to check out, period. Were these golden sword pencils. So let's take a look at this. Now this is not a review video, by the way. This is just me sharing some items that a subscriber viewer sent. And I'm really appreciative of that. And so I'm gonna grab me a HB here. I'm gonna grab a B pencil here. And I'm going to grab a 2B. All right, move those to the side. All right, let's take a look at them. They're all three, they look the same. So we'll look at one of them right here, but it's called the Golden Sword High Class Pencil with Eraser. This is a 2B, you got a golden ferrule, kind of a pink eraser on the end. It's a natural wood finish. And all three of these are the same. This one's a B. And there's the HB. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to sharpen these puppies. You might as well use this AFMAT pencil sharpener here because it makes really cool points. Now let's check this thing out here. You just shove that in there like so. Got them all sharpened, nice and long point. Now, let me get me some drawing paper here. Let's check these things out. Check it out, HB, 
B. To B. Uh, it's incrementally darker. A little bit. That one's definitely, I could definitely tell that's darker. So, we got some kind of a range there. Alright. This is the Golden Sword HP. And this is the Golden Sword B. And this one is the Golden Sword 2B. Okay, I don't know if you can tell any difference. But well, there you go. Yeah, they're all dark. The smoothness, um, they're semi-smooth. I would I would say semi smooth. I got to be perfectly honest here. It's kind of a silk semi smooth rather than a smooth smooth. It's not like a it's not like a um, black wing smooth kind of thing or a Mitsubishi smooth, but it's not bad. And Deo Deo. It has a little bit of that. Um, uh, what's the name of that pencil? Uh, the Murado Black Warrior feel to it. The Murado Black Warrior. Where is that? There it is, right there. Okay, here's the Murado Black Warrior pencil, one of the pencils that I really like. And, let's see, get that HB. Okay, well, the Golden Sword actually is smoother, in my opinion, than the Black Warrior. Let me get a different piece of paper, though, than this. So, this here is the Murado. Black Warrior. Okay, and this is of course an HB pencil. Alright. Now, I'm going to compare that with this HB Golden Sword here, high class. So this is the Golden Sword. Ooh, that writes really nice on this paper. Golden Sword HB well, it's smoother. This Golden Sword HB is smoother than the Black Warrior. Got to put this in my my case here. Let's see, what can I compare this thing with here? Hmm. First off, I'm going to put a different point on it. Hey. Okay, I don't feel that grit on the writing paper as I did with the drawing paper, so I am going to. I'm going to have to, oh, there's a little bit. There was a little bit, not much. That way, right there. It's a little, okay, but that's not bad. That's pretty good. Now, how would I compare this? Oh, I got a broken pencil here. Here is a broken Ticonderoga wood. It's an HB Soft. Okay, so here's another natural wood pencil. Wonder how that would go along with that. Let's see. Ty Con Dero Oh, that's no comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Why is this even in my box? HB Soft. Yeah. That is definitely not as good as this. Goldens. I think these are great for writing pencils, and I think they were intended as writing pencils anyway, even though they're rated B and HB and 2B, because drawing pencils don't normally come with erasers. So these would be for, for like writing, erasing, and so forth, but you can certainly draw with them. But I'm definitely going to use these as writing pencils, and 
I'm going to stick this in my collector's case, all three of them. And I'm booting out the old Ticonderoga wood. Ugh, garbage. Not sure why I left it in there. All right, now let's check out some of this other stuff here that we got. This looks so cool. Look at that. Ooh, it's gold. Gold. It's almost like a shame to even sharpen one of these, but. Oh man, look at that. That is pretty. Oh, I like it. Yeah, well, I'll keep one unsharpened. But I want to sharpen one. I just want to see how it writes. I thought I was going to eat up that whole pencil there for a minute, but it's just making a long point, I guess. All right. Another balanced core right down the center. Nice. I like that. Even if it wasn't meant to be sharpened and used. Wow. This is light. I wonder what kind of wood that is. It's just like nothing. It's like air. Wow. There's, it's not much to it. It's just like holding foam or something. You know? All right, so let's check this out here. Now, I don't know what we will call this. Let's see. We're going to call this Golden Pentaconal Shaped. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so this is Golden Pentaconal Shaped. And it's a HP. Okay, HP. Okay, well, it's it's a basic standard HP pencil. It's right in the middle. It's not super light. It's definitely not in the dark range. Like the pencils I normally would use, at the real dark HBs. This would be like your standard, in the middle, regular HP pencil. This one here gets its fame, I guess, from the way it looks. And it looks cool. And it's going to look pretty cool on my desk. Actually, this here, I got to put it. I got to save this one because it's, it's like cool. <laughs> it's a cool color. All right. And of course, I'm going to put that in storage. Don't want to lose that puppy. All right, what else we got here? Oh, hey, check this out. Caps with sharpeners. Yeah, you know, it's really nice of Ben to send this stuff. Hey, blue for me, blue, gotta have blue. Okay, you got different colors. You got blue, pink, and yellow. Okay, so I got this cap here. And this cap has a sharpener to it. So, let me grab me another HB pencil here. And you have this sharpener. So, let's see. You Oh, you got this little thing on the end. You unplug it so that you can get your pencil inside here so that you can sharpen. I better get something to sharpen on. Don't want to make a mess on my desk. All right, so let's sharpen with this thing. I got a brand new HB golden sword here, and I'm gonna sharpen it with this cap sharpener. Let's see, is that the way you're supposed to sharpen it? I think so. I think it's sharpening. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to open this thing too. Check this out. You gotta open the side. You gotta open the side thing. <laughs> ah, you learn something every day. Okay, so now this is gonna make a tiny point, no doubt. I can see already. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Got a little itsy bitsy point on there. Now, of course. For myself, I like long points, so 
it's not like I'm going to rely on this sharpener with 20, 30 different sharpeners here around my desk. However, this is pretty cool because when you're out and about and you got this pencil within this you're in your pocket, you know, and you just need to get a, a point going on, it's pretty cool. I know some kids, some friends of the family, so forth, uh, would love this. And I'm going to uh, make sure that I get these out to the kids. But this is cool. So you take this plastic thing here, you see, get it in focus. And you have to open it and you sharpen and then you, you close that up and you put the lid back on to seal it so you don't you can't touch the blade or anything. And then the other end slides onto the pencil just like that. Yes, 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 you can have them after I do my video. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, there's sushi erasers. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know what kind of sushi because I don't eat sushi, but it's pretty cool. Now this one has a, a, a black wrapping around it. I, I'm not sure, is this because the two things separate or? I don't know. And then you have this one here. Now I, I'm gonna guess that would probably be like salmon, right? Right on the top here. And then this is rice, right? Would this be like rice? And this is some kind of fish here. And maybe this is what, like a shrimp or something? I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's check it out. Let's erase with it. There it is. Look at that. It erases. Sushi erasers. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks, Vin. It's awesome. Now they're my daughter's. She wants them. She's already claimed them. So we'll get that out of the way. Ah, here we go. Got ourselves a little Japanese style mascot pin. It's a sumo wrestler. Where is that? Here, right there. How long is this guy going to stay in focus? Not bad. All right. Okay. I'm curious as to how it writes. Japanese style mascot. It's a ballpoint. It's a ballpoint pin. Sumo. Su sumo. All right. Well, it writes. Here you go, a little pin. Just your basic everyday sumo pin. Like everybody has a sumo pin in the U.S., right? Nope, they don't. Ooh, cover up. All right, well, hey, fantastic. Vin, I do enjoy these. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sending them. I really appreciate it. Piggy, come here, Piggy. Oh, what are you looking at? Piggy, come here, Piggy.